Today on the channel, I take a trip across the pond to Argos to pick up the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith, and the William Regal exclusive two pack. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Jax Class Superstars 2-pack unboxing and review and today we've got an exclusive, an exclusive over the across the pond at Argo stores. We've got the William Regal and Davy Boy Smith the British Bulldog 2-pack. But for all your modern day wrestling needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. And we're, of course, going to do this like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And this is not the most exciting 2-pack in the world. A lot of reuse on this. Uh, getting the most out of your molds is the name of the game on this set here with a few little tweaks, a few little add-ins, and it was a UK exclusive overseas. Uh, uh, from where I am overseas, uh, and it felt like it was for the country over there. It was for the UK uh, fan base, and putting two of their all-time greats together made a lot of sense, but if you had these from Ruthless Aggression Series 13, William Regal, the prior classic superstars, David Boy Smith, you maybe could have passed on these, but if you're a completionist, or you like little differences and things, you gotta dive in and pick this set up. That's exactly what I did. So let's uh, take a look without any further ado, see what old William Regal and British Bulldog are up to. Looking good in the familiar two-pack design instead of the traditional j hook we got more of the butterfly hook here so that is one note of difference from some of the other two packs class superstars packaging of course fits in line fits beautiful same kind of packaging same size box all that kind of fun stuff william regal dave boy smith on the side looking really really good little glamour shots of the two and i wonder if these two ever met up I i'm sure they probably did in wcw back in the day they probably crossed paths over there i would have to imagine Maybe actually in the WWF, too. Uh, so I'm sure they've met each other a time or two over the years. On the back of the package, there they are. Just those two. No big cross-sell, anything like that. We got two tails of the tape. Two uh, blurbs. Two action figure shots there. And then two more down here. UPC's warnings. And what's this little sticker here? Megatel. Megatel Hockley Essex. SS54WL. Keep this address for reference. Well, I will in case I ever need to go that way. I might just do that. Definitely, you can tell in the difference. There's British Bulldog from the regular class superstars where we got a little different one, especially the knee pads here. That is a big point of difference on these guys. Uh, but let's read the back, see what's going on. British Bulldog debut 1978, 270 pounds, six foot three. Finishing move, the running Bulldog Power Slam. Titles, WWE first ever European champion, Intercontinental champion and world tag team champion william regal debuted in 1983 247 pounds height six foot five is he really that tall that seems a little high to me uh finishing move the old regal stretch titles wwe european champion intercontinental champion hardcore champion world tag team champion so how about that right there Looking good. Limited edition. Best of British. And I love the British colors here in the Class Superstar Series logo. So a lot of bells and whistles to make this kind of stand out a little bit. Even if it's not the most iconic two-pack of all time. But without further ado, let's get him out of the package. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Is there fuss? You guys in the UK and overseas, why don't you tell me? Is there fuss? Was there ever fuss for this pack? If I can pull it out without breaking everything. There we go. I got it. See you later. Goodbye. And how about this? Plastic prison for the old flag by itself as it just kind of crumbles on me. Eh, whatever. It works. See you later. See you later. Uh, we do get the flag here. We've seen the American flag. We've seen um, the Japan flag or, uh, with uh, Yokozuna. And now we get it here. So we're representing. We're celebrating today but a beautiful beautiful flag love the soft goods plastic handle here beautiful flag here nice soft good accessory really nice nice attention to detail on this i am here for this so i do like that a whole lot looking good then on the back we get old william regal we get the british bulldog we're gonna figure out what's different between these two there they are in the plastic prison we get two title belts as well pull that out pull that out there it is see you later goodbye let's look at these title belts first we get the european title of course a title both of these men have held 
Of course, it is the Plain Jane Jax titles, which I'm just not a huge, huge fan of. Uh, just too Plain Jane, very cheap feeling. Feels like something you get at the dollar store, honestly. Uh, not the best titles. Where it's funny how their deluxe classic titles are the best titles to this day, where their regular ones, probably one of the worst to this day. So, interesting how that goes. And then, of course, the classic Intercontinental title. Never forget the Intercontinental title. I absolutely love that one. So, very cool to see. Just not the best, once again, just like that one. Not the best representation of that title belt. But now we're going to dive in. I guess we'll go William Regal first. How about that? William Regal looking good. Looks just like him in the head. I always thought they did a good job with his figures and jacks. Uh, looks just like him. Very plain Jane, as you can imagine as well. It's kind of how he was, though. He wasn't a, a sharp dresser in the ring. He was just tights and boots and knee pads, and he was ready to take on the world. But he does got two gripping hands on him. Red trunks, red knee pads, red boots. You got England back there on his butt, so he's representing. I do have the other one here, which would be, I think, Jack's Ruthless Aggression Series 13. Basically the same exact figure. There is really no difference. You see the back with England? The only difference here is on the Series 13, he's got the tattoo on his forearm where the Classic Superstars did not give us the tattoo on the forearm. So that is the only point of difference between these two. So uh, take that for what you will. I don't know. Is that tattoo enough to buy two of these? Most people would probably say absolutely not, and I would probably agree with that if you're a saint person but uh, a little bit of difference there but not a whole lot of difference between these two but of course articulation arms going to go around bicep cut uh, back and forth elbow side to side back and forth on the hands head back and forth up and down as usual waist articulation big old splits big old knee bend ankles back and forth looking good there and then of course the waist bend so your typical jacks classic superstars jacks ruthless aggression articulation right here with old william regal now we turn our attention over to the British Bulldog. We'd be interested to hear from the UK fans. Who is more respected? Who is more beloved between Regal and uh, the British Bulldog? I would think British Bulldog just because he's been around longer and I'd have to think more famous. Uh, but you guys feel free to sound off if you know the answer to that in your opinion, of course. British Bulldog looking good, though. I always love the blue, the red, and the white together on him. Of course, this is uh, Bulldog with the nice braids going on. He had all those braids there looking really, really nice. Got the white tights with the Union Jack throughout looking good. Red, white, and blue down there on the boots. Uh, one thing that really does catch your eye, though, is these white knee pads. They really needed the flag inspired like we got from the classic Superstars line uh, in the traditional series set there. Uh, but besides that, everything looks to be absolutely identical. Same hands, same head. Uh, this one's got a little bit more of a gloss to it, where this is a little bit more matte on the face, but that's not the biggest difference in the world, really. I, I can see people not getting too worked up about that. But once again, a lot of reuse here, and I gotta say, I prefer this one just because of the knee pads. You feel like you get a little bit more bang for your buck? That makes sense to me. But still a good-looking figure. I've always liked this figure a whole lot. I remember when it came out, I remember seeing it at Toys R Us, being pretty excited, pretty pumped up about it. But a cool representation of a pack. It is a worldwide fan base for wrestling. It's just not America. It's just not North America. It's all points in between. So when they do packs like this, I do think it is really cool. And Jax was really good about that. They did a lot of kind of series overseas. There was like a, what was it, an Ireland tour wave back in the day where special packaging and stuff. It was really crazy that were sold at like the shows over there. So they did some cool things with Jax back in the day. Uh, it was more Wild Wild West, that's for sure, when people weren't tracking every move and there was a lot of surprises and curveballs pretty deep into the internet like we are here in 2023, 2024, uh, what have you. But a good representation two-pack, a very cool one. Not sure if this was that hard to find. There was even some people that said you could find this at Big Lots in the United States. Uh, we know the Hogan and Andre the Giant Argos exclusive. That did go to Big Lots. I do remember that. But some people said this one did as well. So I got to think they was probably fairly easy to get overseas. But you guys chime in if you guys lived it. If you lived it in the time, chime in on this two-pack. Let me know in the comments down below. But what are your guys' thoughts? Did you pick it up back in the day? Did you even know it existed? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some, yes, and then some. And we got more content for you over on Patreon, exclusive videos, bonus videos, early access to all videos, uh, you name it, a lot going on over there. And best of all, it does help support the channel and all of its content. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget about social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the British Bulldog and William Regal, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.